What's quacking my digital ducks? Elite Gamer Hugo here with the second episode of Croc Legend of the Gobbos. Thank you so much for the for um, all the views and everything on episode one. You guys are amazing. I wanted to do this game because I love it. It's my childhood and you guys seem to be enjoying it. And uh, we're just going to jump in. Do the second half of world one and hopefully we should be fine. So let's just jump in. Okay, I can't have the analog stick on apparently. That's what happens when you die. <laughs> Okay, let's do a bit of... Grab that. Jump up. I want to jump up here. Thank you. Grab the key. Come split. And we got a gobble. He saved our first gobble. I hope we go the right way. Because this is where the game starts to branch off. Into like... Branching paths. And it can be a bit annoying. There we go. We got the green gem. Oh, I, remember when, I remember this level. I love this level. I just love this game. There's like not many levels in this game I don't like. Because it's such a cute game. Jump on I fell into the lava. Oh no. Grab at least two or one gem. One crystal and jump croc. There we go. Grab these. Because Gobbo. And is this going to be a colored gem or just normal gems? Colored gem, like I thought. Let's go. There, that's why I needed the key. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Ooh. We got another gem. And more of these. There's a gobble on the other side. Another gem. I'm gonna have missed a lot of gobbos, I can just tell. I'm coming, dude. I will rescue you. Yeah, let's go to Gobbo number three. Yeah, I've probably missed a lot. Oh my god, no. You're not touching me. No touches. No touching the little crocodile. No. Not today. Not today with the touches. Yeah, I think I gotta go through that other door, but... Oh, hello. Hello, little Gobbo. How you doing? I'll save you. Whee. Yeah, we aren't getting anything in this one. Just standard exit, I guess. Cave fear. Cave fear. I love the music. Music's so good. It's so good. Push it the box. That's what we're doing. Just pushing the box. Push the box over here. And then fall in the lava. He also, I don't want to show it, but Croc has really bad invincibility frames. Um, so. We've got to be careful. Especially with lava. Because you can, you know, bounce, bounce, dead. Like Spyro, or like Cro not Spyro, like Sonic one even. We got a Gobbo, and then we jump over here, and then we can go through the door. Yeah, I like it. There's like basically like little puzzles in every room. Every room is like a little puzzle, and you just gotta solve the puzzle, get all the gobbos, and it'll be fantastic. Jump down here and get some awesome stuff. Oh no, it's gonna be a bottomless platform. Die, die. Wow, I actually hit both of them. I never do that. Gabuto? Okay, there are four paths here. So let's go down this side. Oh, Shamo. See? Told you he's got really bad invincibility frames. Lava is the thing that kills me the most in this game. More than enemies, more than bosses. Lava. Yellow gym. And Kasplat to another gobble. Everything also has googly eyes, so it's adorable. Um, by the way, this one just has jelly in it. He is literally a jelly with a neck. Got all the gems, but there is still more level over here. So let's do this. This was hidden. There's the key to save the last gobbo. 
I want to get all of these. Because if you get a hundred of these at the end, because it saves up whatever crystals you get, you get a life. And lives are very important. Lives mean you don't die. Get all the things. Get all the things. Jump over here. Grab you. Yeah. I can't whistle. I wish I could whistle. I can whistle some things, just not croc music. It makes me sad. Because <laughs> one of these has the key in it. And trust me, it's probably the one right at the top. It's going to be in one of those... The jumping button and it won't respond. Why won't you respond? The game's a little bit clunky. I will be perfectly honest. It is a little bit of a clunky video game. There we go. Oh, did I just screw it up? Oh, I did it! I got him! I didn't screw it up! <laughs> oh, I did it! Now on to world one six. The darkness descends. It's a nighttime level. <sighs> I love the lighting in this level. I love the nighttime lighting in this game. It's so good, it's so pretty. So we can shimmy on the bottom, but we want to go on the top because it's through colored gems. And then we go down here and see what's underneath it. Oh, these. Okay, so this one. You've got to land on the box quickly. As soon as you land on the box, you take too long, it won't be a gobbo. I didn't take too long. I got the gobbo. So, if you take too long, it will become lives. It's similar to the, um, you know, the shuffle box thingy that we had before, but it's a bit different. I like those. Just keep going. And <laughs> you call him Spyro. You're not Spyro. You're Croc. You were my favorite before Spyro and Crash. Even though I played both Spyro and Crash around the same time, Croc was always my favorite. Oh, it's this level. I remember this one. Okay, so this one. You can see they just fade. So what we've got to do, we've got to time our jumping perfectly. Perfectly and jump onto the platforms, get all the stuff we need, and we should be fine. We should be fine. Because we bounce like a basketball. Grab you, which is another yellow gem. Another gem. I love to keep it jumping and then we go to boom and then we we lived. We lived. Game, we lived. More crystals. This will be the gobo. I know there's a gobo in this area. I know this game very well. Climb up. Okay, what we gotta do? Jump platforming onto the floating platforms. At least they have textures. I know they just look weird as they're just floating bits of ground, but at least they have textures. Unlike a certain game with a certain bobcat, which we will not mention. As I said, I'm not gay I'm not gaming, I'm not aiming for a hundred percent. But if we get a hundred percent, we get a hundred percent in levels, so Oh, I know what this is. This just looks like a random area, right? It's not. Dive! Croc can swim because he's a crocodile. Look at him, he's adorable. Like, there are levels later in the game which take full advantage of this. And you are basically doing this for the whole thing. Save the gobbo. And he basically just flips upside down. Yes, he just jumps out. Done. That's another level done. So on to world one seven. Yeah. Oh, world one B two. Uh, fight night with Flibby. Cuts in. It is a little, 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 little tiny ladybird. It is a ladybug that Baron Dante turns into a boxer. 
Okay, this area. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, this one's annoying. Uh, let's go over here. Anything? I didn't even know that was there. That was a guess. Secret. Oh, I remember this one. This one's annoying. Oh, you poop head! You poop head snake thingy. I'm just gonna lose lives in here. Screw this. <laughs> I'm not very good at these extra life bonus areas. Jump! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> no! And then we jump over here, and then we jump over here, and then we go spin, then we jump up here and get some more. Get some more crystals, cause we need them to live. Haha, <laughs> the Dantini didn't get me. <laughs> Thank you for getting up on there and get things. Oh, he respawned and hit me! Then go on the rotating spinny things. Oh my god! Back up, thank you. I overshot that. I overshot that a lot. Okay, this boss fight is very similar to the first. All the bosses are fairly similar. Gotta wait for him to get tired out. Go over, spin, and then kaboosh him on the stomach. Boom. Okay, now one more try. One more hit, and then we got this guy. Swing, and a miss, and a boosh on the head. Then we jump on his, jump on his exposed belly, and we killed him. I didn't even get the outro music, but... I love cracks little noises when he flies away. So that is World 1 done! Two episodes, World 1 is done, so... We're going to end it here before we go into World 2. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to become a member of the Digital Ducks today. And this series will continue. I am having a lot of fun playing Croc. So we're going to just jump into the next episode very, very soon. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next episode of Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. Take care.